Hey there guys, I pulled the Valentine's Day units on the Japanese server, I got both of them. Uh, so I'm going to take them for a spin on one of the newest trials and see how they do. Uh, we're going to be going to the March of the Insects. I'm also going to be using um, Ace, who is one of my better DPS I currently own. Uh, so we're going to use Seacard Ignacio, or Signacio if you want to call him that, uh, as our evasion tank. They're also going to be doing breaks and mitigation, support, that kind of stuff. Their Japanese version is really versatile, and I like that. Uh, we're going to use Sakura Ayaka as our healer. They're also going to be kind of like a DPS, because they're like a DPS healer support mixture unit on the Japanese server. Um, their DPS isn't really like meta tier, but it still helps. We're going to use Luna Freya for mitigation, stat buffing. That's for the most part about all she's going to be doing, but magic mitigation is a real big deal on this fight, so we're taking Luna Freya. We're going to use Kamari as our double evasion unit, or not evasion, our double mirage unit. Uh, he's also going to be doing breaks every now and then, but for the most part, he's just going to be doing double mirage every turn. We're going to use um, Class Zero Ace as our DPS. Uh, he's geared for some bug killer, a lot of magic dual wield. Uh, he's got pretty good stats. He's a good unit just overall. And we're taking friend um, Class Zero Ace. Uh, same thing, good stats, a lot of bug killer. Uh, we're looking good. So let's get into it. So this trial is um, its pretty fun. It's got three waves. The first two waves are pretty basic and easy, and then the final wave is the actual challenging one. All right, so to start off, we're going to have uh, C. Ignacio give us a fill buff. We're going to have Luna Freya just fill the limit gauge for the team. We're going to have... Uh, Secure Ayaka, fill the limit gauge for the team, and that was the wrong skill. Something cool about the JP server, look at this, look at these icons. Like, you've got the Ayaka skills, the Secure skills, and it's the same thing for the C card Ignacio unit. The icons are just so cool looking. Like, I really, I really like it. But anyway, we're going to fill limit gauge with those two. Uh, and then we're just going to chain Ace's limit burst here to kill this first wave real easy. And this should also fill the limit gauge for everyone. And we'll check out, we'll check out Ace's really cool limit burst. I, I uh, really like his, real nice. I mean, this should fill the limit gauge for everyone. We're, we're AoE like 10 targets. Yeah, we're filled up on limit gauge. Except for Ace, but he's a CG unit, so it fills up automatically anyway. Alright, so for this one, we're going to go ahead and use Kimari to use his limit burst to AoE break everything by 70%. Kamari's limit burst is kind of cool too, I gotta be honest. That looks really cool. I like that. Um, anyway, here are the C, C Ignacio icons. Like, it's so cool. You've got C card with the little rose, you've got Ignacio with his skills. But for this first turn, we're gonna use our limit burst, which is gonna put up cover, mirage, as well as mitigation for the whole team. We're also going to use Secure as Limit First, which gives us an enormous regeneration. It also also enables her to uh, quintuple cast her DPS. Uh, Luna Freya, there's no magic on this fight, so we don't need her magic mitigation, but we're going to use her cooldown for the stat buff anyway, and we're going to do a break immunity buff. Uh, now Ace is going to imbue Ice, use his power up, and then just a chain. So we're going to imbue, power up. And chain. Now we're gonna kill this white one first because the white one has high spirit, so we want to kill him first. And he does have high spirit, but because we're using Ace, who is like a ridiculous DPS, it's dying quick anyway. But the black one has lower spirit, so you want to kill the one that has the opposite of what you're what you're doing. So if you're using a physical team, you want to kill the uh, the black one first, then the white one. But we're we're doing it the other way around. So we're gonna double mirage with Kamari now. C card will give us uh, some mitigation and some stats. Luna Freya will fill limit gauge for the whole team. Cause I, I, I want to fill the limits of Secure and Ayaka before the next fight. Uh, and we can just triple chain with the aces. And then Secure Ayaka are going to times five cast. I'm going to cap that chain with their, her finisher move. Now, her finisher move in this form is actually very, very fast casting, which is great, because it, it's really easy to cap all five hits. 
So we're going to start our chain, and then we're going to use the finisher. You heard that little doop, 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 little beep noise? That, that, was the, that was the five hits of her finisher. So all five of those hits were tapped. Now, because we killed one of his friends, now this guy's going to start ignoring Provoke and cover with a lot of his attacks. But we've got double Mirage from Kamari, so we're, we're just miraging all those attacks that avoid cover. So it's no big deal at all. Uh, so this guy, same thing. We're going to Mirage with Kamari. We will uh, triple chain with Ace. And we're going to cap that chain with Shakira Ayaka. Now this guy, because his friend died, he's got an all stat buff that's really big and it can't be removed. So if we're going to do less damage than before, but it should still, it should still be totally fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the chain, then I'll start capping it. Pretty good. We should win next turn. Um, so, let's see. Our, our Limit Burst is currently filled. We're looking good. So we'll just fill some mana. And we'll do an AoE re-raise for, like, absolute safety with, um, Sakura Ayaka. Or, I'm sorry, Luna Freya. We'll refresh cover and we'll do a Provoke with Signacio. I'm actually not geared for passive Provoke on Signacio right now. He's got 95%. Um, well, he's geared for 95%. I'm using a Materia that gives 10%. But uh, he's actually not at 100%, so I provoke with that. Okay, so let's get into the final fight here. Ace will chain, chain, and then use his cooldown. See, Ace will chain, chain, and use his cooldown, and we'll cap that with Sayaka. I really like the, the Japanese Sakura Ayaka unit, because her, her Limit Burst is such a powerful regeneration ability. You actually don't even need heals while her regeneration, but it heals for like 15,000 a turn regeneration. It's craziness. So we're going to go ahead and use her Limit Burst again. We're going to use Sieg's Limit Burst again. We're going to do a long duration um, break with Kimari's Limit Burst. Now, this boss uses a lot of magic attacks that bypass cover. So we're going to use Big Mitigation with Luna Freya. And we're going to do a Break Immunity as well. We've got General Mitigation from Siegnacho's Luna Burst. It applies 50%. And once again, we're going to do pretty much the same thing with Ace. We're going to imbue Ice. And then Chain. Now, this boss has a chance every single turn to dispel your team. And if he does that, it's going to be a big irritation, but we should be okay overall. It's just, it's, it's just going to lower our damage quite a bit. Now, he does hurt, kind of, but we're miraging a lot of it. He dispelled us. What a jerk face. Okay, so, so that's not too big of a deal, but we've got to, we've got to rebuff, which means I can't, I can't do my stat buffs. Well, we can do a small stat buff with um, Luna Freya, and we'll do a magic mitigation. Uh, we, we don't have seeing Luna Burst here, which is a little unfortunate. I think we're going to chain beforehand, because I might get his limit burst anyway. Alright, so we're going to cap five times with this unit. We're going to re-imbue, and then chain three times, or re-imbue, and then that's still chains, and then chain, chain. Uh, now we're going to start doing Mirage every turn with Kamari. Alright, chain, and then cap. Pretty good. Uh, we didn't get Sieg's Limit Burst, but this, this is one of the great things about this version of Sieg card. We can dual cast his cover, and we can put up um, big mitigation. Anyway, so we've got 40% mitigation, 30% physical mitigation. That also puts up um, cover all in the same cast. It's really awesome. Alright, so we, we mirage some of those hits, and the rest of them um, we, just, we just took. All right, so we crossed the we crossed the eighty percent threshold last turn. Did we get the spell again? We didn't. So because last turn we crossed the eighty percent threshold, we've got to hit the boss with an Esper to stop him from um, eating someone. So we're gonna go ahead and hit him with that Esper to stop him from eating. All right, we're gonna Mirage again. Ace will uh, chain, chain, and cool down. It's actually not ready yet. Okay, that's fine. We'll just chain three times. Uh, chain, chain, chain. Secura Ayaka should, should have reloaded first. We'll just cap this five times. Now, she does have a huge healer support kit, but because we're, we've got this really good team built with Luna Freya and Kamari's dodges and Signacio's buffs, we're actually able to concentrate entirely on damage with our Secura Ayaka this time. 
Uh, before I do that, let me go ahead and put... I just did that last turn. I'm going to do that. I want... Ah, um, uh, here it is. I want uh, big buffs, and I'm going to provoke with Zeke. All right. Go ahead and chain and cap the chain. Okay, pretty good. So let's hope he doesn't dispel us this turn. It's possible he does. Looks like he decided to not dispel. That's awesome. Uh, he put up a defense buff, but we're, we're using all, all magical damage, so I can just ignore that. I don't really care. All right, so let's keep doing our damage. Uh, let's chain, chain. Oh, wait a minute. Let me... Here it is. Buff, chain, and cooldown. And then we will, let's see, buff, chain, and cooldown. Secure Ayaka is still half her quad cast unlocked. Excellent. Uh, Luna Freya, we're going to do a big stat buff with her. Let me let this finish before the chain before the chain goes. We will break her Mirage with Kimari. Kimari's uh, Limit Burst breaks last for five turns, so we still have three turns of Limit Burst, so that's awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and chain and cap that chain. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty good. Um, I don't know when the last time I used Sneak's cover and all that, so we'll just cover and mitigate. Oh, and you'll notice um, we didn't need to worry about healing because we had uh, the regeneration buff. So we're fine. So, um, no, this turn, this turn you would normally need to hit the boss with an Esper. Not that Esper. Hit the boss with an Esper on turn 5 to seal his, his consume. But, I mean, we're going to win right here, so whatever. Because Ace is amazing, and we've been capping Ace's damage with Sakura Ayaka every single turn. I think her quad cast, yeah, her, her, her quintuple cast wore off. So I would have had to use her limit burst here to re-enable her quintuple cast so she can cap chains. That also puts her regeneration buff back up, so we don't need healing. But, uh, you know, we're going to win with Ace right here, so whatever. There it is. Turn 5 victory with uh, Double Ace, Secure Ayaka, capping those chains every single turn with her 5 times spirit scaling skill. And then a lot of support from Signacio, which is really awesome. Now, Signacio's big perk is he can do imbues for fire or earth. The thing is, this 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 trial is actually weak to ice, so using Ace's natural ice imbue is is more effective than going with Signacho's imbues. But I'll definitely be using Signacho's imbues on other fights. That it's more beneficial to use um, fire or earth damage. Uh, so there's a quick run with the Valentine's units. All right, I'll see you guys for the next one.